Oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs. Hello, my name is Sandra Grasse and I'm a licensed acupuncturist. Thank you everyone for the feedback on the first part of Dr. Gil Barthelai's interview. Uh, if you haven't seen that one yet, I'll leave the link up here and you can check it out. Um, please leave us any more questions or comments or feedback about the interview and we'll be happy to uh, pass it on to Dr. Gil Barzilai or if you want to get in touch with him directly, the website, the, the best way to contact him, I'll leave the link down here and check out his vlog as well. And yeah, let's, let's get on to it again and just let's have a look at part two of the interview. And speaking about being on camera, you were on camera last week. That was on TV, so that, you know, it, the only way is up now. But uh, you were also on camera on your very first vlog. And I, again, what is it, Toda, for, uh, for asking me for, uh, if, uh, for my help? Because, you know, it was kind of humbling as well. But I learned loads, and I'm looking forward to vlog number two. But tell me. What is your goal? And I'll, I'll just leave the link up here as well, so that and, and even down, people can, can check you out and check out that, uh, that vlog. But what is your goal in, with the vlogs? What is, what is the message that you want to pass on? Well, I mean, uh, I, I think the vlog is another form of communication. People can read uh, articles by themselves, and they can look on, on the various groups or even on my uh, personal uh, page where I publish some of the... Uh, studies of trying to summarize them, but sometimes people like to see faces talking to them, and that's why blog, as you know very well, you've just celebrated one year with your blog, um, is a visual explanation. People like to see um, someone talking to them, almost like a lecture, but a three minutes lecture, which is kind of cool, short, and sweet. Um, and I'm trying to simply explain in a few sentences how the study was designed, uh, what the key data is because sometimes in those articles you can get in the publications you can get 10 or 12 or 15 graphs and tables um, what is the gist of it and what is the take-home message so they can really uh, take it to their patients or take it to their colleagues wherever they work uh, and discuss it with them um, people are very scared of uh, even searching for studies not to mention reading them so i'm trying to help and i'm trying to see whether it works or not so far, it had almost 300 views, so it seems like it did generate some interest. Yeah, and no, I totally agree with you. And it was the, uh, actually the full circle of this all was that uh, when, when we started the vlog a year ago, it was actually someone from Israel who helped me and actually with putting this program together that you can use the, uh, the two screens. So someone from Israel, from Israel, a colleague of mine doing the masters with me, Maya Harish, and now I get to help someone from Israel to do their own vlog. So it all goes full circle, you know? <laughs> but I think that's important, yeah, the, um, having, having it in a different language that people can, you know, sometimes you get like, the, the one that I was recording yesterday, there was a few of them that 16 pages. And can you really go through 16 pages of numbers and statistics and what happens? So putting it in a different language, I, I think it's a very, very good idea. And so, so tell me, is, is, your main, is your main target group other practitioners, or are you making it more for patients or for the general public? Who, who exactly do you want to reach with the vlog? No, I'm doing it for practitioners. First of all, I'm doing it in English, and even though in my uh, small country, 90% of the people speak English, um, I don't think it will interest them enough. I'm doing it for, uh, for practitioners to, to spread the word about Chinese medicine. Um, one day I may be recording it also in Hebrew to the public and do it in more late-term languages, but at the moment uh, that's, that, that's a good starting point. I'm, I'm finding my way to communication with, with our audience and with, uh, with patients. So, so yeah, it's 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 been it's been really good and, and and you know everyone was sharing it and there's a few people talking about it and look it's going to take time because people need to know so i'll leave the link down here and people can go and check it out and again it was a pleasure to, to help you and i'm looking forward to vlog number two after your time off because everybody deserves some time off so <clears throat> tell me about about again your your great experience as a lecturer and and you've lectured in different places and in the world as well but one of the main places is actually in Israel and I'm really sorry that I couldn't make it last year because of just the travel arrangements but I'm looking forward to 2018 so 
one of the great uh, one of the great conferences like even worldwide and you know that Lauren actually mentioned that in one of the one of the vlogs that there was a couple of them that you would definitely put on everyone's bucket list and the um, ICCM was uh, was on was one of those definitely so you're involved with it so can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, about the ICCM and just give us a taste of why is it so successful um, yeah, so yeah, I'm very happy uh, to be involved with it. Asaf, who, Asaf Moore, who is the CEO of it, was my teacher in, uh, in school and he invited me to join the team about five years ago. Uh, the ICCM Congress takes place um, for a decade now. We celebrated a decade last year um, and it's going to be the 11th Congress uh, from the 12th to the 15th of March 2018. It always happens in Tel Aviv. Um, simply because this is one of the best time I think to be in Israel, unlike now where it's 35 degrees. Um, it's a spring equinox, uh, it's an international, it's built of um, uh, two, two days of the Congress itself and then uh, one day of post-Congress seminars. Um, the, the Congress itself has like sessions, morning sessions and afternoon sessions, all in parallel sessions. So there's a few topics running in, uh, in different uh, rooms um, and, especially, and also different sessions, like I said, um, in the morning and in the afternoon. It's an international congress, so most of the lectures would be in English as well. Since last year, we also had the NCCAOM uh, certification from the US, uh, which gives the academic points, which is very useful for many uh, therapists. And other than that, there's a lot of fun and interesting so we sort of make it as an ICCM week. First of all, we start the day before with a visit to hospitals in Israel which have integrative units where you have Chinese and Western medicine together. Um, so we usually go to one or two hospitals depending on the number of medications. We have to split them. Um, we have the international evening the night before the, be the beginning of the Congress itself. And that's a nice place uh, on one of the roofs of Tel Aviv overlooking the beach. Um, to meet and greet um, and get to know, you know, uh, mingling between uh, international and um, uh, people from therapists from Israel. And then we have the Congress on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. We have a commercial, um, like, industry um, presentation there where, where people can, can see and buy um, stuff as well. Um, and then on the weekend after that, we, not after that, the end of that week, on Friday and Saturday, we have a trip to Jerusalem and the Dead Sea. So there's a lot of social, get to know, building links, and of course studying as well, getting academic points for it. Um, the evenings are fun as well because people group in whichever way they want and go around Tel Aviv, on the beach, Jaffa, you name it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a really nice uh, way and there's about 600, 700 people Attending both from Israel and abroad, so it's pretty much the second largest congress now after the the congress, the TCM congress in Rothenburg. Um, but that congress is almost celebrating 50 years, and the ICCM is celebrating 10 years. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's one of the big but, ones and fun ones. But, uh, but as you see, like people are talking about it, and it wasn't just uh, it wasn't just Lauren mentioning to us uh, as well. Like other people knew that you know if you're going to pick like three or four that you're going to do in a year, that one would, would you know the ICCM would be up there. You know, yes, if you're in Europe, you're probably going to go to the DCM Congress as well. But <clears throat> it's good. Like ten years, ten years is a good build up, and then you have a good following there already. And listen, first of all, I'm Portuguese, so 35 degrees sounds great. You've mentioned the word beach, which is even better. You mentioned the word socialize, that's even better. This is like, yeah, oh, is there work? And finally, well? we're going to get to see you. <laughs> and, and there's there, there's work as well, yeah, that's that bit, yeah, that's 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 a pity, yeah. And here are a few, a few interesting uh, bits and bobs about Chinese medicine. That's yeah, 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 Japanese. yeah. A bit of research in the middle and, and just a few lectures and all that, yeah. <clears throat> but you see, the funny, the funny connection about that is that uh, like we've met before at different conferences. We, we, we never met in Ireland, we never met in Israel, but we met in different places around the world, which is, which is fun. And, you, you know, we keep on talking and mentioning people and you mention us half more. And you actually, and I mentioned someone who studies with me that helped me with the, uh, with the vlog at the start, but you actually studied with someone who's doing the master's with me as well. So 
I'm I'm someone who always you know keeps a really really high respect for uh, for everyone who's been my teacher or who I've learned people uh, something from uh, throughout the years and like I really really value people like that. So it's 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 almost like that uh, that what is it the the five degree separation or whatever that the um, everyone is linked in some way. But uh, I, I honestly did not know until I checked something online. Yeah, I was checking you out that um, he would study with A. L. Springer. I I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. Uh, we do study nutrition in part of our four years, but only for uh, one semester. Um, not enough, in my opinion. But uh, I went to do a one-year uh, course with Eyal on Chinese and macrobiotic nutrition, which was a hell of a journey. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I wish for you that uh, Eyal is going to be on one of your blogs. Um, or other uh, courses in the future, but yes, that uh, really taught me one of the missing pillars in Chinese medicine um, in a great way, and one of the more challenging ones because you know that, that, that really depends on, on what the patient then do at home. So uh, it's a huge, huge, huge uh, uh, task, but um, there's no better way than studying it with the elves. So. But I, I, was I really, I really like that because of the again goes back to the empowerment and you know giving people the power to do something and then again to learn and to be able to do something for for themselves. So it the um, yeah, if he's I know with the exception that many of them don't want the empowerment. Well, they want yeah. to come to you. You do whatever you need to do for them, and then you know they that's as much empowerment. The fact that they actually bother to call you, make an appointment and come to you weekly or monthly or whatever, um, that's as much empowerment as they're willing to do. The rest of it is just too much. You're, you're, going, to, uh, you're going to start to go on your uh, Shen talk now, are you? This is, is this part of it now? No. You're going <laughs> to... But it is, it is no, true. I'll leave, I'll leave it for next year. <laughs> <laughs> but it is true, it is true. And listen, I've, I've mentioned this before, actually one of the vlogs with, uh, with Yvonne Farrell as well, and the, uh, yeah, some people just... Um, some people just don't take it, can't take it, don't know how to process it. But all we can do is just put the message out there and just try and help as much as we can. So um, there you go. <clears throat> Speaking about putting stuff out there and being out there and helping, going back to the practitioner side of things, you, as I said before, great lecture. You've been around the world. Last month you were in Denmark, wasn't it? You were, um, you were in Denmark yes. lecturing, yeah? But you, for people that are you know, watching this practitioners or even someone just out of college now and go, well, he's in Israel, I can't go to the ICCM, it's too far away. They can actually get you online. You have stuff, you have CPDs with, um, with Medagogy and ProD seminars as well. Yeah, so the Medagogy was done in September, I think, just before it was uh, out, up. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's a full course on research and evidence in Chinese medicine. Um, the medagogy, I think, is free. I'm yeah, the medagogy. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's medagogy, so that's a one-hour talk, and I answered a few questions, and then you have the full course, um, similar to what I've done or what I've been doing in Denmark. But uh, in Denmark, I've been updating a lot of the research um, for the 2007 program. Um, but yeah, um, people can can log into that and um, and uh, and get the full course on, on research and how to look for it, uh, what are the basics of Chinese, what are the issues of Chinese medicine research, which is part of explaining the sham and all that, uh, mm -hmm. all, the, all, all the placebo issues that we have in Chinese medicine research, um, and a lot of examples in several therapeutic areas. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, listen, <clears throat> I mentioned this before in, in some of the vlogs, and it's written all over the website as well. I have no affiliation with Medagogy or ProD, apart from Lauren being a really, really nice guy. I think we can both agree on that. But the, uh, I, I, I just think that it's, it's, a great, uh, it's a great thing to have. Uh, um, like I, I, got to meet, I got to meet a lot of you guys and a lot of people that come on the vlog or that, are, that, are, that, that people have seen on interviews or, or other footage from the vlog. I got to see you guys first online and it being in Medagogy or ProD as well. And, you know, I'm from Portugal. People there don't get access to, uh, and I was at Asaf was there recently as well in Lisbon, I think. 
but it's it's rare enough to get people to travel that much. I know you're in Denmark and we go to conferences, but it's difficult enough. So to have that resource online, I think it's just absolutely fantastic because you can do it in your own time. You you, you can pick and choose which, whichever CPDs you want to do, and you can just you can just continue to improve. So I I think that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, that's how I got to know. I have quite a few on my computer, and um, and yeah, it's it's good to go back. Yeah, I like. It. Is there is there anything planned for next? Will you have anything else new coming out? Yeah. So what I planned, what I've agreed on already with uh, with Lauren is to do research and evidence focusing on therapeutic areas. So one of them is going to be on Shen, um, depression, anxiety insomnia, whatever else uh, uh, may be included, whatever else interesting that I may find, and one on fertility, gynecology and fertility. Okay. Uh, so both of them are going to come in uh, in late autumn and uh, beginning of winter uh, cool. next year. Uh, and that's going to be like mini sort of updates on research um, in, in those specific areas and whoever will want to then go back and sort of review uh, and try to really get into uh, research can go through the full course. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, looking yeah. forward to that, and just uh, you know, keep posting it online and keep it keep it public that that people can um, can have a look at that. So now and there you have it. I can only say that personally, I had an amazing time recording this, uh, preparing for the interview, Dr. Gill. Thank you so, so much for the amount of time you gave us. And it, it, it's, it's a tremendous pleasure for me because, as I said, I learned loads from it. I hope that other practitioners learned as well. If you want to get in touch, um, probably the quickest way to do it, you can check his Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash Dr. Gil TCM. Um, you can send us any questions you might have because we will be happy to forward them over to Dr. Gil Barzilai. And if you're around whenever he's lecturing in your neck of the woods, just go, definitely, definitely go because he is phenomenal. And it's great to have a strong and knowledgeable voice in the field of acupuncture and Chinese medicine research because we need it. We need people like that. And it, to me, he's always been a great inspiration and I'm, I'm really, really lucky and privileged to have him as a good friend. So check out his vlog um, send them any ideas or suggestions for future vlogs as well and do the same thing for us hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because whenever these unexpected interviews come live you'll be the first one to know so until next time be kind and be healthy oh baloney the whole thing always gets back to drugs